So four weeks ago I made a video about hair cloning and in my research of that video I discovered there's already a method that uses hair cloning techniques to deliver hair transplants. You can imagine my shock because hair cloning is one of the most difficult things to achieve and it's taken scientists decades to crack it. So how can there be a method that claims to be using hair cloning? Why haven't I heard about it? Does it work? Who's using it? I wanted all these questions answered, so I did research. The method is, the method is called HST or hair stem transplantation. Sometimes it's called the Haskin method as well. This video is a complete review of this method which I've been researching for the last two weeks. Let's have a look. So let's start by giving you a quick background information on this method. This was pioneered by a guy called Dr. Cohen Go. we'll meet him in a minute, and he's been researching this since 1996, so 24 years. The method is, uh, sorry, the clinics must be named hair stem cell clinics. They have to be specific clinics that come under this uh, Dr. Go's stewardship. It can't just be any old clinic. The reason is because the method, they claim the method is patented. So if you go to any old clinic, they do not hold this patent so they can't really offer you the genuine method, the genuine patented HST method. Now let's meet Dr. Go himself. So you have to go on his website and there he is, looking very sharp and smart. The website is very nice, so we'll come to that in a minute. So let's find out where you can actually go to have this method done. Uh, you can go to the Netherlands in Amsterdam and Maastricht, very close together. Well, Netherlands is a small country, so you're not gonna have any issues going between the two, whichever one is closest to you. In France, in the UAE, I think in Dubai, in Indonesia, and in the UK, in London. I also forgot to put on this list Belgium and France, but those clinics are labeled as consultation clinics, so maybe you only have a consultation there and you actually have the procedure somewhere else. So let's discuss the method basics because some of you might be watching this video thinking that how does it work? How, how can they claim that this is a transplant, Is this is a hair cloning method? So the idea is, that they extract um, only a part of the hair follicle is extracted. With the other method, methods like FUE, you have to rip out basically the whole follicle and that's gone for good. So you've lost that um, hair follicle. With this, you leave behind part of the follicle which continues to grow both at the donor site and at the recipient site, of course. So this avoids something called donor, deple donor depletion, which means you can keep your donor hair, you can go back to have um, hair transplants again and again and again. This is the idea and this is what they claim on their website and they also mention they use a special medium. So a medium is um, I think it's either a liquid or a gel. It's um, something to keep the hair follicles in in between when you know, take it out and when you, tr you know, transplant it and this is the secret source um, according to them. This is I think what is patented and they say if you go to any other clinic that is not HST licensed then you won't get access to this special medium that and presumably you get worse results or no results at all so what are the advantages of this method and this is the advantages listed on their website so this is the website's claims they're not my claims or anyone else's uh, number one is little donor depletion you keep more of your donor hair which means you can have repeated hair transplants they also claim that their method yields higher density um, i'm still a little bit vague because they don't really explain it that well how you can have higher density with this method than, than other methods and then uh, they also claim that it's all, it's, you know, it's all natural growth uh, which is a bit vague because um, all hair is naturally all hair transplants grow naturally I mean no one really uses artificial fertilizers to grow their hair so I'm not really clear what they meant by that and they also put a timeline they they really are obsessing over this nine month period that they think this is when you will see most of your growth uh, I'm a be hesitant putting a timeline on hair growth because people are different you know your hair grows at a different rate than my hair so I'm not really sure about this bit so let me very quickly take you through the website this is a fantastic website the reason why I obsess about website because people might be thinking who cares about website we just want to see you know results and that you know and that's it a website tells you everything almost everything you need to know about the professionalism of a clinic if a clinic does not have a professional website nine times out of ten it's a rubbish clinic in my opinion it's simple as that Anyway, let's have a look at this uh, website. So on the left here, they have the basic information for people who are very new to hair transplantation. You know, you 
get really, really good quality information here. I've been through this information. It really is top class. And then here they list all the different treatments, hair, hair stem cell transplantation for men, for women. And really interesting, they have a section here for Afro hair. Let me try and find the section for Afro hair here. And I've, I've actually read this uh, and they're very, very honest. They, they say that Afro hair is very difficult to work with. You know, the results might be a little bit, you know, you know, hit and miss because it's such a hard hair, a hard type of hair to work with, demands real technical expertise, really honest, transparent information. And here they have a very clear cost section. So let's go to the section for the cost for men. And there's actually a table. They're very, very upfront. They tell you the number of graphs and the cost. We'll analyze the cost a little bit later on. So that was really good. They have an FAQ section. Where you can get some really top class answers you're not going to find any you know poor you know spelling mistakes or grammar issues here this is a top class website and finally you have several ways to contact them and here they list all their branches they have lots of branches in europe in asia um, in uh, dubai so let's analyze the cost a little bit more so let's go to the cost for men and um, as i showed you a little bit earlier you can see the cost here. They actually tell you the cost, the cost per grafts in this table here. So, for example, if you have 600 grafts, you pay 3,300 euros. If you have 1,000 grafts to 1,200 grafts, you pay 6,950 6, euros, and so on. So, I've actually um, worked out the cost per grafts all the way down here and it works out that the more graphs you have the cheaper it gets and once you get to 1800 graphs so if you have 1800 graphs or more the cost is actually fixed at two euros per graph which is really really good you're not going to find a table like this hardly any clinic is going to put up a table like this but this clinic is so trans transparent so professional they do this for you so here is my analysis of the cost i worked out the cost is probably double what you pay in Turkey at the very least in some places in some in some categories is as high as six euros per graph which is enormous but on the other end it can be as reasonable as 2.5 euros per graph basically the more graphs you have the cheaper it gets for procedures over 1800 graphs it's actually fixed so what I would do is I would just have 1800 graphs at the very least and then I know exactly what I'm paying and I can budget accordingly. Of course, this is assuming that you actually need 1800 graphs. So now let's go and have a look at results. Um, your favorite part, uh, where is it? So if you go to treatments and you go to where it says hair transplantation for men, here you find some treatments. There's only three here. We'll analyze them uh, one by one. So the first one you can see here, this person had 1,280 grafts, so a fair amount, not that many. So before the treatment, um, looking quite thin, especially at the top and at the front, probably a Norwood 4 or 5. And afterwards, this is nine months after the treatment of 1,280 grafts. And it's got coverage. I mean, the hairline is uh, fixed very nicely, but probably the density is not there yet. I mean, it's just far too thin. So he's got two options. Maybe he can give it another five months or six months to see if he gets further growth, or he can have another procedure. Because as we said with HST, you have a lot more donor ha hair available. So you have the option of having repeated procedures. Uh, this one I'm a bit confused about because to be honest, I can't, they, they, you know, they say this is the before picture and this is the after picture, but I, I can't really tell. When you look at it, you could argue that this looks like the before picture and this looks like the after picture because <laughs> the before picture has got more thickness than the after picture. It makes no sense. But anyway, this is the before picture and this guy had 2,490 graphs. This is nine months after the treatment. Um, I mean, the hairline is a little bit forward, but honestly, he looks like he has better hair before. So I'm not really sure what happened here. Very confused. Um, the last one here looks very, very good. So this guy has got frontal th um, thinning, and afterwards, um, he's again nine months. They, they you know, they, they really love their nine months, don't they? And he's had 1,021 grafts and he's got excellent growth. The hairline is looking very, very natural. 
I would say this is as good a hair transplant as you can get with FUE or with the other conventional methods. And uh, further down, if you are looking for a beard, then you can actually have this method done. So this guy is, you know, that's a good, it's a good beard. Let's very quickly before we go, have a quick look at uh, any of the treatments for women. So this lady only had 710 grafts and she's got really, really good growth, lovely thickness. And um, this lady as well. So yeah, even the ladies have got some decent results. I would say even maybe even better than the men. They have a very good YouTube channel um, where they have some of their clients. Uh, you can see some before after um, pictures. And uh, this is one of their clients. I think this is his before. Um, I mean, he doesn't look like he, ha he has much hair loss. Uh, maybe at the corners. But this is before pictures, and he's he's going to have a. A HST method uh, transplant with them and then we're going to see what he's like a few months later so let's have a look at that so this is um, this is his eight eight and a half month up, uh, update he's had his hairline redesigned um, it looks a lot more square the, the, the corners have been filled in but you can see there's a um, the front is still a little bit thin um, I don't know whether he will get further growth eight and a half months uh, um, it's not really that early but it's not uh, sufficient time I would say so maybe in another four or five months you'll get further growth but it looks um, quite thin at the moment and uh, to be honest I'm not sure why he had a hair transplant done is it was it just to redesign his hairline because he didn't seem to have any hair loss before in fact his hair looked a lot thicker before than after the hair transplant or maybe he just had his hairline brought forward which is what I think he's had done he's had done um, but to be honest, I would like to see this maybe in another three or four months. So once you get to the 12 month mark, then we we really want to see that this this is filled in because at the moment it's quite thin. So my conclusion on the results, um, quite hard to find large volumes. Sorry, there's a misspelling there. It should be hard, not harad. Uh, I've looked in forums and uh, Facebook. It's hardly any results. Um, I have to be honest, some of, the, some of the results I saw were underwhelming, maybe because um, the, the, the pictures of the results were a little bit too early, maybe at the eight month mark or at the nine month mark. But having said that, some transplants with the FEU and FET, you actually see excellent growth um, at, the, at the eight month or nine month mark. And uh, to HST, I've actually contacted them, um, please publish more results, that's the message. Um, they did get back to me. And I'm waiting for the second email, so hopefully if that comes through, I'll leave it in the comments below. A quick note about the results I saw on YouTube. Um, some of them were quite decent. Uh, you can go and have a look at the Husky channel yourself, HST channel yourself. Some decent results. Some results were underwhelming, so it was a bit of a mixed bag. Uh, forums, uh, not surprisingly, you mostly find unhappy clients. Um, not that many, to be honest, um, one or two. Um, so really hard to judge because once only people who want to complain usually you know write in forums or things like that so it's, it's really hard to judge just a quick heads up i always leave all the relevant links in the description below or in the comment section below in terms of reviews um, i checked google um, for their london branch and there's only one review here so this is the review it says uh, you know quick and easy process uh, would like the cream to be uh, for itching to be included uh, but i get that not everybody gets itchy so um, it's to do with the treatment itself, the day of the treatment and the creams for itching. It's a five star review, so that's very good. Um, in terms of other reviews, um, I couldn't really find, um, I tried to look for UK Trust Pilot reviews. There's, um, there's nothing there, the Harris hair, that's not the, the clinic we're looking for. Uh, in forums, there's hardly anything, uh, just you know, people kind of flaming the clinic and um, a couple of people complaining, but no substantial reviews on there. So what do I think? Let's divide it into pros and cons. On the plus side, this clinic is, they're clearly professional. You can just have a look at their website and um, see that for yourself. They have a patented method. So obviously you can't just get, not, not anyone can just get a patent. They, you know, they must have presented solid science. So on that front, it's really reassuring. On the flip side, um, we just can't see enough results to show us that, you know, they've done loads of procedures. They have all these success stories. We can only see one or two. And uh, the other slight concern is if this method has been around for such a long time, why haven't we heard more, for example, celebrities or more famous people going and having it done? Why has it kind of been just in the background? So we just need more information before we can certify this method as a success. Our question for you, would you go and have this method done? Let me know in the comments below. I'm out of here, take care.